Hey guys, I'm back. So you guys had requested over on TikTok that I react to Everly Rose brand new solo called Real People Not Actors. So that is what we're going to be taking a look at today. I know it's been a while since I filmed one of these, but let's get into it. Okay, I feel like I need a booster seat. This is booster seat. This is so low. Am I a five year old needing a booster seat? Yes. Okay, right off the bat, the movement quality in this is incredibly mature. I'm not sure when the last time I reacted to Everly was. I'm not even sure how old she is at this point. She looks really young still, like 9, 10. But this movement quality is serving very mature. Like, you know how Maddie Ziegler, when she went out on stage during Dance Moms, everybody would always say she looked like a seasoned professional? It was because her movement quality was so mature. She was very connected in her body and used all of her body instead of just, like, mimicking a specific step or a specific figure with the body she uses the entire body and is connected to emotion and that's what i'm seeing here in everly as well also fantastic work on the feet let's get back into it. Okay, also I'm appreciating that there's a lot of body movement in this. Yes, we're getting some tricks, you could say, so far, but we're getting actual choreography, which is great. Loving that. And she's definitely gained a ton of mobility in her back. The musicality is on point. The facial expressions are on point, but I feel that all the time. I feel like Everly is a true 100% performer. She performs all the time. She's always 100% delivering facials. And I do feel that she has definitely been working on her facility and her technique because right even through to the ends of the fingertips is articulated and that back bend that she did there, so much better than any previous solo that I've seen. So let's get back into it. Okay, coming up from the dive after that walkover, she could have articulated through this part of her spine a little bit more. So maybe just the shoulder mobility and the neck, making sure to have the head come up last and really relax all of that. This choreo and movement quality is very like slithery and serpentine. It's very contemporary. Love that. I didn't feel like that brush up into like the half illusion was very effective. I felt like there could have been a lot more power in that, a lot, a lot more intention behind the movement, but the isolations in this number, phenomenal. It hits every single one of those isolations on the music. Great job. I wouldn't necessarily be putting over eight counts of, but you know. Yeah, see that time from the brush of the leg up, there was a lot more fluidity in that. That was really good. Again, the isolations in this are so strong. There's so many little tiny accents in the music and she's really delivering on all of those. And there's like a little, and there's a little something something on everything.
Okay, why was the video glitching? I don't know if that was special effects on who Kid Dancers on YT or what that was, but I'm like, why is it literally glitching? The choreography, it already feels like a glitch, the way that she's doing so many of these accents and the way that they're choreographed, but I don't want to see special effects on a video when I'm watching it. Oh, wow. That was the end? Okay. Very abrupt ending to this choreography, unless this video is just cut short. I'm not really sure if that was actually the end or not. I feel like she could work on having a longer neck in this choreography. It's not so much that she has a short neck physically, like we can only do so much about how we're anatomically built, but just making sure that she's presenting a long neck, chin up, back of the neck lifted. Overall, though, great job, fantastic isolations, fantastic musicality, great movement quality. This was very slithery, very serpentine, very contemporary, it was very mature. It was not so loaded, full of tricks, which I absolutely appreciate. There were zero turns in this number that I'm recollecting right now, which everybody's been complaining lately about how competition dance is just becoming Alice Acone turn sequences for two and a half minutes on stage, which... I love me a good Alice Cone turn, I love me some turn technique, but the rest of the world is on the page of we want to see contemporary, we want to see art at this point, and technique is great. Showing off technical skills is great, there's a time and a place for that though, and I don't feel like every single competition number is necessarily the time and the place. And if you are not that kind of dancer, it's great to work on those things in class, and it's great to show off what you're actually good at when you go to competition. And I think that this piece fits Everly like a glove. It's definitely her style. It definitely feels like it's building upon previous numbers that I've seen her bring to competition. And thank you guys for re asking me to react to this one. And um, I think that, that is it from me for this video. If you guys have any other videos you'd like me to react to, Next, of anybody, doesn't have to be just Everly, let me know down in the comments below. Might take me a while to get around to them, but I'm doing my best, a busy bee over here. And I hope that you guys are having a great summer so far. Not really summer, but yet quite, but it's feeling like summer. And um, as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Maybe just like a little life update, because it's been a hot second. Okay, bye. <laughs> Ha! Slay those 